Well, when you think of Toledo, I'm sure there's plenty that comes to mind, but one cultural phenomenon put the glass city in the spotlight, and it was the TV show MASH. Yeah, that show celebrated 40 years since its finale this week, and with it, we celebrate the influence of one of its stars and Toledo's favorite son, Jamie Farr. From the Toledo Mud Hens to the park in his name and the golf tournament he helped start. Jamie Farr's influence in Northwest Ohio cannot be overstated. He was on one of the most popular TV shows in, in the history of television. To be part of that and to be so tied to that, he's definitely a living legend. And his legend is still being told. While the world remembered the 40th anniversary of MASH's final episode, 88-year-old Farr was working in Atlanta, meeting fans and signing autographs. If I knew what I knew to, you know, then, what I know today, I probably would have quit, never gotten into the business. WTOL 11 talked with Farr on the phone. He told us he was exhausted from that trip, but shared stories from his career and his hometown. So we dug into the archives, and it might surprise you how Toledo's favorite son landed a role on one of the most popular TV shows in history. Didn't know what the part was. I was getting $250 for the day, and... Uh, that was it. That was 1972. He landed a deal for one appearance on MASH, season one, episode four. That's ah, stupid. That one shot turned into a reoccurring role in season two. After that, Corporal Max Klinger became a staple. To have uh, such a popular show um, feature a char not only a character from Toledo, but an actor from Toledo, uh, it was a big deal. It's a character Toledo Mayor Wade Kapsikavich remembers fondly. Down to earth, fun, kind, um, and bottom line, sort of person you like to be around. You know, that's that's Toledo and that's Jamie Farr. And while Farr's clinger did things like dress and drag to earn himself a Section 8 discharge from the Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, Kapsikavich says the character painted a picture. It helped. Uh, people understand what a special place Toledo is because Jamie Farr was homesick. He missed it. Uh, Klinger missed it. And think people all over the country can relate to a place that you love so much that you miss it. He insulted the Toledo Mud Hens. I take it that's a baseball team and not yesterday's lunch. Farr brought his sense of humor and a piece of Toledo to Hollywood. And that shined through TV sets across the country, putting Toledo on the map. We're the world famous Mud Hens because Jamie brought us and our name into millions of homes. Craig Katz is the director of merchandise for the Toledo Mud Hens. Merchandise like this jersey and this hat, both as seen on MASH. Katz says Farr's character still brings people to Northwest Ohio. And when they get to Fifth Third Fields, many find a pleasant surprise. The first thing we get a lot is we didn't think that this was a real team. We thought it was you know, made up just for, for MASH. Of course, the team is real, as are the memories Farr shares about his childhood. He says he spent time peeking through the holes in the fence trying to catch a glimpse of Toledo's world famous team. Farr grew up with the old Ned Skeldon Stadium, but he's made new memories downtown. You can go across the street from Fifth Third Field, have a hot dog, see the game, and then go over to the Beirut. That's where Labib Hajir comes in. He's been part owner of the Beirut on the corner of Monroe and Meadowbrook since the 70s, and he's hosted Farr many times. And Jamie is a, is a real Toledo guy who, who never forgot about Toledo. Hajar says plenty of people leave Toledo for bigger things, but a piece of far forever lives in our city. When he comes, he, he calls on his old um, North End friends. And that call inspires new customers to come in. Fans of the show, uh, the people that he brought here, they always had a good, good memories about Toledo and, and the fun they had here. And it's a great town. He was so proud to have his friends taste the food and enjoy the food. There are two eating places that okay. you have to go to. One is obviously the Beirut restaurant yeah. and 
Tony Paco's Hot Dogs. You have to go there. And go there far did. His name welcomes guests at the original Tony Paco's in East Toledo, a place he couldn't go in when he was a kid because he wasn't old enough to drink. That's all changed, of course. As far as Klinger stands strong inside along MASH-inspired merch. I incorporated my childhood into Klinger. He was from Toledo. And so I mentioned Paco, the Mud Hens, and all these other things. And, well, they loved that. They thought it was just great. Great, like Jamie Farr. I think you put Jamie Farr right on that list as someone who, you know, helped represent to the world, you know, what it means to be a Toledoan. Uh, I would say he did to Toledo more than anybody, other, any, anybody else did. So to Toledo he is, he's a legend. Really awesome when you watch that, too, that the show allowed Jamie Farr to bring Toledo into his character, mm -hmm. Max. And they, like he said, they loved it every, mm -hmm. every time yeah. he did. You heard the phrase living legend. Farr told us earlier this week he doesn't consider himself a legend, just living. <laughs> <laughs> he also shared a story with us on Wednesday about Jamie Farr Park. Listen to this. When he was a kid, he says he got a spanking from his mom for sneaking out and going to that very <laughs> park. And now... It's named after him, So take of that, Mom. Yeah.